Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to turn fuel or oil into uh, power, electricity. Okay, uh, to do this you need either one or more combustion engines. I recommend two. Uh, got a lot of fuel. Okay, uh, engine generator HV. A, uh, transformer MV and a transformer LV. You, d you don't use a transformer HV because uh, there's just no need. Um, and also you need something to store all your power in, which I'm going to be using that box. Okay, also for the wire you're going to use uh, HV, insulated HV cables. Uh, I recommend the four times insulated one. Even though they're huge, they're uh, better than the two times one because with the two times one, when you get uh, close to it or stand on top of it, you'll get electrocuted, and you can and it hurts pretty bad. Um, okay. So next. Uh, I'll show you guys how to hook it up. So have your engine, have your engine generator down, and have uh, your combustion engine or combustion engines hooked up to it. Next, uh, have your cable going to uh, your first your transformer MV, and then have it next going to your another cable going to your transformer LV, and then leading up to another cable going to your bat box. Okay, uh, okay, yeah, that's right. Now, uh, oops. Diamond picks it here. Okay, if you'll notice that, um, I'll show you guys how to properly have it set up for if you do have the BD crop texture pack in it, and if you don't. So this little symbol right here is only for BD craft. It's just like a little electric surge symbol, and you want to have that leading towards your engine generator. So the way that the cable inserts, that's the way that you're going to have it. So, for example, uh, the cable is going to go from this transformer into this one. So, just have it where it's going to be inserted. So, right there. And the same for your other uh, transformer. Just have it right there. Pretty simple. Um, Next, just use a redstone engine to turn on, or use switches, whatever you prefer, to turn on your uh, combustion engines. And you also need fuel or oil pumping into them. And I recommend using water too, because these will overheat fairly quickly. Um, now, if you see, I'll show you guys it working. So we're starting to lose power because upstairs in my, um, I have all of my appliances connected, uh, electric furnace, extractor, macerator, and another electric furnace. This is my setup for turning or for doubling, uh, for doubling like ore into bars. So. One or equals two bars with this setup. Um, go over it in a later video, and it all loops into my chest. So, hopefully, it will use some power now. Just to use a little bit more, I'll charge up my jetpack. Jetpacks take up a lot of power. Oops. 
Okay, um, now we'll just connect this, and you'll see how fast you actually do get power. So as you can see, I don't even have to leave these combustion engines running full time. I'm hoping of upgrading to something better than a bat box pretty soon, but it takes quite a bit of materials, so I've been making this stuff for it. Anyway, hope you guys like this video. Oh, oh, I forgot one thing. Uh, for your bat box or your electric, uh, whatever thing leads into, um, you just gotta have the little symbol pointing towards um, where your copper, where your copper cables are plugged in. So just like that. So just click, uh, right click with a wrench where your cables are hooked up. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If it helped you out or you guys liked it, please uh, leave a comment, subscribe, like it. It's all appreciated. I'll keep on making uh, more videos for you guys on stuff that you just don't really see that much uh, tutorials about on YouTube. Um, I, I mean, this is a pretty big thing that people should know how to do. I just... I didn't see one tutorial about it anywhere. I had to actually ask in tech it forums about how to do this and how to get it set up correctly. Uh, thank you to everyone. Yeah, thank you to uh, the guy in the forums that showed me how to do it. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, more videos coming your way.